어. 
Now, I loved this pair because of the colors on it. In as much as I usually shy away from wearing round earrings like this, I don't wear hoop earrings very often, but I just love this one so much because of the color, and I can already see what I'm going to pair these earrings with. But now the only funny thing is that they are not the same in length because this has something extra here and then this one doesn't so this one is a bit longer compared to this other this other earring like this is longer than this one but that's not a problem i think i can sort that out by myself and i also can't wait to style this pair i think i'm going to say that about every other earring that i have with me here but it's very nice. Uh, this was 250 shillings at Blessons. This was the next pair of, earring that, uh, of earrings that I got from Blessons. Also very nice and Masai style. As you can see, it's long, just like the brown one that I got on the first day that I went to Dubois. And I absolutely love this. This also went for 250 shillings. I really love the beadwork. And um, somebody had told me they've never really seen me uh, wearing African jewelry, but now it's going to happen. In fact, I went to that store specifically after watching me Nyawera Mumenya of Zumi doing um, a Blessons video and yeah I love that I went there because this is a very nice pair of earrings to have also 250 shillings I think I've said that already and then um, the next pair of earrings that I got from Blessons was this they also sold this to me at 250 now I felt like this was that was a bit too much for a pair of such earrings I think this one should have gone for like 150 or something but I still got them because I absolutely loved them and I was still a newbie at you know Dubois I haven't been there too many times so I was like you know what let me just buy this pair anyway because I love the red and I love that they look like tassels but they're not tassels they're beads instead of tassels and they look very nice I love the golden detail okay it's not exactly golden I think copper or something I'm not too sure but I love this detail here on the earring it looks very nice and I really can't wait to style this it's very very beautiful and then next up, I went to, um, you know, this one I remember I got on the third, like on my third visit to Dubois. So there's this pair of beaded earrings as well. This pair. So this one's just cost me 120 shillings. I was in so much disbelief because um, it's the shop right across Blessons. I was just walking around on that because I was a bit, you know, I'd finished everything that took me to town. So I got this pair. It's very nice. It's white, mostly white, but then it has other different colors of beads. And I absolutely love how they look on me. And um, this can go with a lot of things that I own, but I want to style the earring with some denim. It will look very nice, like a denim jacket that I, I have. And then next up, I have this pair of earrings. I got this pair for 100, and sh 100 shillings. They were selling it at 150 bob, but because I was buying something else from that store, I was like, I see you guys just reduce the price for me. And I managed to get this at 100 shillings. I love it so much. I love this pair so much because of the golden detail here. Red and gold usually look so nice together and somebody has just decided to, you know, turn their music on very loudly. I hope it doesn't interfere with the sound in this video, but I'll try to speak a little louder. But yes, I really love this pair of earrings. It's very nice. Um, yeah, 100 shillings. But then it's because I was also buying this. I went to do what to look for a layered necklace. I had a, ne a layered one like this one um, some time back, but it got tangled up. And this one comes with a pair of earrings. This cost me um, 250 shillings. I absolutely love this so much. It's very, very nice and pretty and very simple, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm really happy about this particular purchase. And then next up, I have this pair of earrings. Um, I got three from this particular woman. So she sold this pair to me at 100 bob and the rest of the two at 100 bob because they were 150 each and because I was buying more than three. Like I said, they usually give you a wholesale price. This went for 100 bob. I really love that. It's very simple and it has this brown bit. I really love brown stuff. It reminds me of a toffee sweet, which is just very nice. So yeah, such earrings even my mom can wear. My mom has a problem wearing heavy earrings or dangly earrings, but these ones just stay put when you wear them, which is a very, very good thing. So this one's for 100 bob. And then from the same store, I also got this pair of very beautiful green earrings. I love that the crystals are green. I did notice that there was one missing, but I still got it because you can barely tell. Even the person who was selling could not, you know, she didn't know that. But it was the only pair left that looked like this and I just decided to carry it with me because 
sometimes you know you just have to compromise and i really hope that it doesn't get spoiled very quickly because i'm looking forward to wearing this a number of times and it looks very nice so this also 100 bob because i bought it with this other pair and then the third pair of earrings that i got from this uh, this lady is this one also a nice simple pair i really love the length of this because it's a bit longer and for the third or end time i really love long earrings so this is also very simple it does dangle a bit but it's not you know destructive it doesn't disturb so also for 100 shillings and uh yeah so that's the jewelry that i got from Dubois and now I want to go to some belts because I didn't expect to find belts there But I ended up buying quite a number of belts and uh, yeah, so let's go straight into it So when I stepped up when I when I was done uh, shopping for earrings that third trip uh, during the third time that I was there I came across some belts. This is the first belt I came across. It's a nice snake skin belt and it's in very good condition as you can see um, Just look at the buckle very nice uh, Yeah, so it's just a very strong snake print belt and I'm obsessed with anything snake print I think you guys know that by now so it says Sadler 72104 genuine leather and I can really tell that it's genuine leather and this was such a steal because the guy sold it to me at 50 shillings and I really just couldn't leave it so this is how long it is and it's snake print so that makes it even better for me and that's the first one of course 50 bob like i said and then actually all the belts that i got from dubois for just 50 shillings and then the second belt that i got is this black one i lost my black belt like the, the one that was this thick just somewhere in my house and i really don't understand how but this was the second one that i got from dubois it's very nice as well it's a little bent on this other side but for 50 bob it will work i really love it because well it's just small small enough for my waist like my higher waist here like yeah so when you tie it it just fits very nicely it doesn't have a lot of excess to it and the challenge i usually have with belts is that oftentimes they are just in excess when you tie so this one looks like this and for it to fit me this is like the size of my high waist you guys but yeah also for 50 bob this is not such a bad purchase it's not perfect but it will do and then the third belt that i have is a perfect one now i really love this i don't know what to call it croc skin or something I, the black one that is missing from my house is like this one but i just don't know where i placed it but this is perfect i love the color of the buckle here and i really love the print like um it's just an animal leather kind of it's just a nice leather belt that it's very that is very beautiful i love the color i love the print on it and the back side of it is just plain it looks like this but it's still nice because this is not the part that you see this is the part that you see and this belt has no fault whatsoever and it's very strong which is why i even had to take it it's very nice and strong and you know you just need a strong belt because you want something that will last a while and then this is also 50 bob um and then there's this other belt this other black one you can never have too many black things in your closet so this is the fourth one that i have here with me and i absolutely love this because it's literally perfect there's nothing wrong with this belt which is something i love and this one now i can tie on my jeans like when you wear jeans you guys i'm obsessed with belts i rarely walk out without a belt like belts can make an outfit and that's why i really love this one as well uh works very well for me um yeah and the back side looks like this the buckle is as clear and clean as you can see there's nothing wrong with it and then the fifth one is this yellow belt and i bought it just because i love yellow i love yellow so much and when i saw this i was like hey let me take it and i also love the fact that it fits me like on the higher waist side not just the lower low waist so yeah i also can't wait to sell this over some dresses but i think i'll do a color block in as much as black is the most obvious color to wear such a belt with i will wear it over something else like something green or something of the sort for that color block effect so i haven't washed it yet so i haven't washed it yet which is why it's a little you know dirty not so dirty just a bit because with such belts you have to wash them to achieve that brightness that you want but this will do i really love the buckle it's very nice 
yeah it's a nice simple belt that will do and then the sixth belt that i have is this perfect brown one i love brown so much i think i've said that already but this is it it has no faults whatsoever it's very new actually when you look at it it's very new and uh the buckle is also that vintage color and i love it so much because of that so this one is just amazing like i think it will just look good with some jeans which is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to wear this belt with some jeans it will look very nice so there's that and then next up is another brown belt but a skinnier one this time you guys if you do not own a number of skinny belts you should definitely buy some because they really save you a lot like they usually look so good so i bought this also with the rest of them and it's very new just look at that buckle it's very nice and uh yeah i usually buy belts a lot like i'm always buying belts my mom asks me why i need even more but to me you can't have too many belts yes so those are the things that i got from dubois just some earrings a necklace and quite a number of belts i'm so happy with my purchases and i think i'll be frequenting that place so thank you so much for watching this dubois haul i hope you enjoyed it i hope it encourages you to go to dubois just like the other videos encouraged me to go to that street it's very nice it's worth your while so yeah before i leave i just want to encourage you to subscribe it's free to subscribe doesn't cost you a thing you guys when you subscribe you can always press the bell button below so that you're notified every single time that i upload a new video i put up videos every week sometimes even twice a week so yeah thank you for stopping by and i will see you in my next video bye